This is the Shine On You Crazy Daisy podcast, and I'm your host, Trudy Simmons from the Daisy Chain Group, providing platforms and opportunities for business women to be seen and heard. This platform is for the women entrepreneurs that want to hear the real stories of what it takes to be yourself and run a business with all the different hats that you might have to wear. Come and join the Shine On You Crazy Daisy membership, offering online networking, co-working, collaboration, and monthly masterclasses for you to grow your knowledge. Go to thedaisychaingroup.com for more information. These are the platforms to hear and share the stories of the tenacious, the rebellious, and the resilient women that are working towards the future that they build for themselves and their families. Hello and welcome to the Shine On You Crazy Daisy podcast and today I am thrilled and excited to introduce you to Wendy Welpton from Reclaim Movement. Wendy, thank you so much for being involved in the book and the podcast. Please tell us about your business. Thank you for having me. It's a great opportunity. Um, So my business is two years old now. Um, I'm a natural movement coach. It's a kind of unheard of thing um, in the UK particularly, but bigger in the US. Um, And it's all about looking at the way you move throughout your whole day, um, rather than just in exercise sessions. So it's about training you for your older age, effectively, if you want to be able to get up and down off the floor, uh, lift things, be independent, then you need to start young. So Mm -hmm. this is what, what it's all about. In the chapter, you talk about the mind and the body working together for the best outcomes. But how did you find this out? Um, I found this out because uh, when I was injured, which is what brought me into um, this whole new world, um, basically I struggled with chronic pain for many years and it took me a good couple of years to realise that I had to accept where I was, uh, surrender some very difficult emotions Mm. um, uh, to then actually be able to move on physically. Um, And that's when I realized, I suppose more retrospectively, looking back, it was uh, that moment where I started to actually get better. Um, And it made me realize how much we hold uh, physical trauma and mental trauma in our bodies and then how much that actually affects our movement going forward. And it's very Mm -hmm. difficult to be objective and see that. So it it is more looking back, but it's changed the way that I move more now uh, because it makes me a lot more mindful in my movements. Um, and uh, and I noticed this in other people where they carry, you can see in someone when they're carrying trauma or pain or, uh, yeah, or they're not quite so mindful. <laughs> mm-hmm. I keep sitting up straight just in case. <laughs> um, being in alignment, we talk about a lot in business, is important for businesses, but we forget about being in alignment for our bodies. So how did finding this out then help you? So I suppose the two key things that, I find that were how important it is to move with good form so mm. that you strengthen your body being in the right positions um, as you move so that you can stay mobile and keep strong as you age. The other side of that is then being in alignment to be able to do that well. Um, and that was a huge thing for me. I'm actually, I find out through the process, I'm hypermobile. So for me, my ligaments are a bit loose, which means it's harder for me to hold good alignment. I'm much more likely to be a bag of jelly. So I have to be super aware of what I'm doing, but I still notice around me, all those who aren't hypermobile, even though a lot of people are, they really struggle to keep that alignment. And I think when you become more aware of your alignment, um, people like to call it posture, but that's very static. Um, But alignment in movement, Um, It means that you can form good shapes with your body, you can strengthen healthy patterns, and then you avoid injury because you're not putting pressure on different areas of your body because you're holding yourself well and you're aware. It's all about awareness of Mm. your movement. I love hearing about this stuff. I was in Australia for 17 years and there's, there's a lot more being done there with this kind of looking after yourself in this way, right from the, the core movement of things. And it is, it's so interesting when you look at these things and, and make sure that you are in alignment in all ways. I'm not very good at it. Do, say, do as I say, not as I do. Oh, but... We're all a work in progress. We are all, no one's perfect. Absolutely. <laughs> I think that um, the confidence and hope are so easily lost in pain. How did you find yours again? I think I always had hope. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm definitely quite a positive person, quite glass half full, but my experience of years of pain absolutely knocked my confidence, mm-hmm. both in terms of my physical ability, but actually mentally in my whole life, uh, I, I really struggled. Uh, and I think because I still always had that little bit of hope, the more I did research what was happening to me, the more I took a deep dive on what on earth was was happening and why, mm. uh, the more armed and informed I became. And then as I then became more committed to my rehabilitation, um, I started to get that confidence back. And the people that I treat, a huge proportion of the problem that they have, particularly as they age, is that they've lost the confidence yeah. in their movement patterns. And actually, if I can help rekindle that by getting them down on the floor more, because then we have the ability to get up off the floor more, moving around on the floor more, all these things actually add up to saying, okay, so if I do fall, I know how to fall well, and mm-hmm. I'm not as afraid of falling, so therefore I'm more relaxed in my movement and I'm less likely to injure myself. So confidence is a huge part of movement. I don't think we'll realise quite how much. It's, it's crazy talking about it, but um, the I had surgery on my back years ago. And one of the things that I had to relearn was how to stand up. Like I couldn't get from a chair up. And the confidence that I had to build back up where my legs can support me was it was one of the biggest mental battles that I had. I just couldn't get the messages to my legs that it was okay. And you lose confidence because you Mm. think, why on earth? This is a natural movement I was born with. And yet this is the heart of what I do. We don't train our natural movements. Mm. And yet our natural movements are the ones, quite frankly, we're left with because it's unlikely we'll be, you know, moving around in the gym like crazy and doing mad things in our 60s, 70s, 80s, well, hopefully 60s, but anyway. And therefore, we need to train the things we want to keep doing. So if you want to be a grandparent Mm -hmm. who can pick up a child, their grandchild that's running up to them, or you want to be able to tie your own shoelaces, et cetera, Mm -hmm. we need to train them now. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, your background is in marketing. How did this help you in your new business? It's helped me hugely in terms of being able to be more customer focused. So being able to message um, through their eyes, um, also understanding a little bit about what generally what marketing is all, all about and how that can help a small business. But admittedly, it's so different when it's your own business. When you're working for a big business and it's not your baby, um, you are following sort of the way it's done there. Whereas when you're suddenly out on your own um, and you have to really think clearly about who you're wanting to appeal to and how you want your tone of voice to come across, uh, it, it's a whole different ball game. So in, in lots of ways, I've actually gone back to get support from other uh, marketing specialists yeah. to, to remind myself of, of, of it, but from a small business perspective. Yeah. So yeah, so different. it's useful mm. and also not. Yeah. yeah. Um, if there was one lesson that you've learned that you want every entrepreneur to know, what would it be? It's about the fact that it's a roller coaster. It's a fantastic <laughs> roller coaster, but it is a roller coaster. And the best way that I have found to help myself realize that it's normal to be on that roller coaster is by surrounding myself with like minded people. Mm. So, other small business owners finding online, I started in the pandemic, so everything was online. Mm. But finding coaching support groups for small businesses, I've enjoyed women's groups um, particularly Mm. because then you realize it's not just you Mm. and you share so much useful information and so I think that is the best money I've spent. Absolutely shared connection as well in in finding those people around you. What's your favorite piece of business software? So for me because I'm into movement and luckily so that Instagram is starting to love it so much it's a video editing app called InShot Um, and it is so so easy to use it's also very cheap um, but the free version does you know pretty much everything I need it to Um, but it's such a useful way of chopping clips adding music Mm. adding text it's in any format you want. So whether it's going to be um, upright for stories or uh, normal square for um, your grid, et cetera. But it's just such a super easy way. And because it's on your phone and off, I, I take most of my video footage on my phone, mm. it's 
I'm not having to transfer here or there. I used to use iMovie, but that was a lot more clunky to get things on, off, whereas InShot is just the simplest and best. So it has changed things for me a lot since using it. So I I'd highly recommend it. I love knowing things like that. You just want everybody to know about them. I've never heard of that one. So brilliant. Thank you. Wendy, this has been an absolute pleasure. And thank you so much for getting your story out in Shiny Crazy Daisy book and podcast. Thank you so much. I'm really excited about it. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please like the video and click the subscribe button for this channel for more inspiration. If you're a businesswoman looking for that community that will support you and lift you up, come and join the Shine On You Crazy Daisy membership, offering online networking, co-working, collaboration and monthly masterclasses to grow your knowledge. Go to the daisychaingroup.com for more information. And for even more inspiration, please go to the link under the video and get your copy of the Shine You Crazy Daisy series of books with inspirational and motivating stories from businesswomen around the world.